So I just finished packing up my bag, getting changed and everything. Um, I'm more or less ready now, but uh, the stars are incredible so far. I'm gonna have to wait and get a still shot later on. Um, it's gonna be a little while. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get started here in a moment. about four minutes in. Apparently putting a coat on was a bad idea because I am way overheating. Plan is for about five days. So my pack is substantially heavier than it normally is. But I've got to carry five days worth of food and then I'm planning on having a couple good meals. Find a place for the jacket. Some place, any place. Where I found it. Come on, close up. There we go. Got a couple of new pieces of gear, but we will get into that probably tomorrow when there's more daylight. Or, well, I guess later on today.
glasses are still intact. Take that up. Take no, oh, that's better. Those. And these. And away we go. So it seems as though the uh, the wardens have come through since last time I was out here and really, really put the uh, reflective markers to the trail. This is actually really great. There's uh, one right there. Turn on the spotlight so you can see it. That guy. And there's another one way down there. But uh, yeah. They've uh, done a good job. Very happy with what I see. I just came upon a very interesting little mushroom. No, not really a little mushroom. It's uh, it's kind of large. All the things you see at night. Off into the darkness we go. So I was about to step over this log. I noticed all this, and it seems like a uh, chipmunk or a squirrel has been having a snack on some pine cones. I always wonder what part of those that they eat. Maybe I'll see one one of these days. So I've just gotten past the first beaver dam. Decided to stop for a little bite to eat of granola bites. Hmm. Not sure if you can see all the steam coming off of me, but it's cool and humid and moist out. The stars are gorgeous. Looking forward to being able to sit down at the point at Shelton Lake with the camera. <clears throat> I'm actually putting the time into getting some good time exposures. This has been a 15 foot drop. For one portion I was kind of curious how it was going to go tonight. Luckily I've done this trail a number of times. So I generally know what to expect. But now I have to get back up there and get the camera. Of course I can't see. <laughs> Gorilla pod giving way. <laughs> ha, touchdown. There's another Small beaver dam. Ugh.
And then up the hill we go. Yo, bear. Not sure if you just heard that. Yo, bear. There's something big out there and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Owl, birds, frogs. I was about to cross the beaver dam, but I don't like what I'm hearing up ahead of me. So I think I will just wait it out. Across the beaver dam. Time check almost 5 a.m. Sunrise is at just before 6. Uh, that used to be the trail. Guess we're going up and around now. Magic arrow. Well, there's your first glimpse of the sunrise right there in the morning star. Oh, I just about came around those trees and was greeted by a very large, I'm hoping it was a bullfrog. I know that's all solid bush through there. The water's over that way. Yo, bear! Yo, bear! Well, it is, what time is it? 5.30 now in the morning. Official sunrise is at 5.55. I have made it to Sheldon Lake. This heavy pack has definitely taken its toll on me. 
But then again, so is the very little sleep over the past three days. And not a whole heck of a lot to eat, which is my own fault. But that's what happens when you come off the midnights and try to reacclimate to the rest of the normal functioning world. But I'm gonna to get to the day use site here. I'm gonna set up my tents. I'm gonna have a nap. But before I do that, I'm gonna set up a time lapse so this camera can capture the sunrise. Unfortunately, it's behind trees, but it'll peek over the top of them eventually. Check back in with you in a bit.
yesterday there was sun and there was rain 